Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video, we will be relieving some stress. How, you may ask? Well, this is one of the ways. Let's get started. The beauty of sand. Do you remember these? These are the colored sand. And here are, uh, what's here? Oh. The, um, they give you a bit of a template thing. Wait, let me bring it up close. So they just give you an idea of how it's supposed to look like. But of course, you can always do your own thing. So I've got a huge birthday cake. Two cutie flowers. So precious. A sailboat, a race car, ooh, a cute bunny, ah, the elephant, another cute bunny, and a lovely home. As you can see, this peel and play sand art kit is very easy to use. Just peel to reveal sticky surfaces. Simply peel back pre-cut patterns of peel and stick sand art boards to reveal sticky surface. Pour or sprinkle on desired color of classic color sand and shake off excess. Repeat with your favorite sand colors until left with a sparkling sand art masterpiece. This is just a suggestion of how the end result should be. What was this person on? This is a bit thick. It's like cardstock. They give you a toothpick. And colored sand. I've got pink, blue, yellow, white, orange. This is orange or red? Orange. Green and black. Making method. Pick up the part when you want to paint. Uh, of a painting sprinkling color sand on the part that you have picked up sprinkling deep color sand first then the shallow color sand uh, okay whatever so I removed this paper now here it's very sticky can you can you hear that it's sticky and Take the color you want. It's also it's also stuck on this. There you go. Where's the picture? So there's an elephant. Standing on water. Okay, that's weird. That's why they gave you so many weird colors. Yeah, I have no imagination. I want everything exactly how it is in real life. Okay, so let's make the elephant pink. You can paint the pictures color them in you can use markers or um, after you color and paint you get bored you just peel it off and then you can play it with the sand it has like it's kind of like a three-in-one activity you can do so many things with this some helpful hints just start with the darkest color sand first and progress to the lightest avoid peeling from the outside to keep bored from fraying use a push pin in this case, they have given us a toothpick, which is really nice because it helps us peel off the protective paper from those hard to get to places in the design details. Gently rub or press sand into board to encourage adequate bonding. Tap off any excess sand onto clean sheet of paper to save and just use again. I wonder if I can use eyeshadows. Only way to find out. Uh, can you see it? Beauty. Yes. Much better. 
An elephant never forgets, never forgets, never forgets. The elephant never forgets, never forgets, so don't mess with them. Creating art relieves stress, encourages creative thinking, increases brain plasticity, and imparts other mental health benefits. And anyone can do art. There are a lot of misconceptions. There are a lot of misconceptions about art. Some think you have to create paintings or sculptures to be considered a real artist. Others believe that you are either born with artistic talent or not. Many who don't consider themselves to be gifted artistically feel that there is no point in creating art since they won't be satisfied with the results. Another myth is that you have to work with an art therapist to get any therapeutic benefit from creating art. But we are all born with an innate desire to express ourselves, and art encompasses a wider range of activity than you might imagine. How creating art relieves stress. Activities like painting, sculpting, drawing, and photography are relaxing and rewarding hobbies that can lower your stress level and leave you feeling mentally clear and calm. Creating art provides a distraction, giving your brain a break from your usual thoughts. The average person has roughly 60,000 thoughts per day, and 90% of them are exactly the same day in and day out. When you are totally immersed in a creative endeavor, you may find yourself in what's known as the zone or a state of flow. This meditative-like state focuses your mind and temporarily pushes aside all your worries. Creating art trains you to concentrate on details and pay more attention to your environment. In this way, it acts like a meditation. Now here are some of the best ways in which creative expression can benefit mental health, making you a happier, healthier person. So here is the picture which is ready. Ah, it's so cute. So you can have so much fun, you can add pretty much anything to the sticky part. Makeup, glitter if you want, everything could be glittery. So yeah, pretty much just go crazy with this. So everyone, they're all done. Here is the elephant one. Can you hear that? The next one is the sailboat. Now this one is all of the mixed sand. Such a cute bunny, so ecstatic about a cherry running through the carrot fields wearing a beret. Not a care in the world. This one here, the cute bunny, I removed the black outlines. So you can get these white, cute outlines. It looks very nice and artistic. The cute house. I've added a bit of glitter. It's not showing though. There, can you see it? I've added all the glitter to this. And some chunky glitter as well. You can see. This is sand here on their faces, and everything else is eyeshadow. And for the last one, it's the race car. I did this all in glitter. Doing a little bit of arts and craft activities is really beneficial. How is it beneficial, you may ask? Well, art encourages creative thinking. It boosts self-esteem and sense of accomplishment. It affects the brain increased connectivity and plasticity. Now this I will expand on because every time you engage in a new or complex activity, your brain creates new connections between brain cells. So your brain's ability to grow connections and change throughout your lifetime is called brain plasticity or neuroplasticity. Creating art stimulates communication between various parts of the brain. In this way, creating art has been proven to increase psychological and emotional resilience making you more resistant to stress. Just remove the black outlines if you want a neater look. Art also makes people better civilians for life. Viewing art increases empathy, tolerance, and feelings of love. It induces greater empathy regarding how people lived in the past and express greater tolerance towards people different than themselves. Art eases the burden of chronic health conditions. It lets patients forget about their illness for a while, allowing them to focus on positive life experiences. 
creating art enabled them to maintain the identity of who they were before they got sick. During the process of art creation, you will be taking yourself on a journey of self-discovery that will help you eliminate emotional roadblocks and learn how to communicate with yourself and others. There, all the black outline has been taken out. Design and collect them all. Sprinkle your favorite color. It's fun to create a colorful scene with colored sand. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive, com leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah is Bye. Jazakallah khair, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.